Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh, let's talk about leaks. Everybody loves leaks. We all like to know what's coming into the game. Of course we do. Thing is, leaks are also really damaging because in almost all cases, they're based on second or even third hand accounts or pure conjecture. Thing is, it relates, or they relate, to tanks that are under test. Tanks that will change, sometimes massively, before they hit the game. Recently I've seen a few videos talking about the Object 268-4, a potential Tier 10 Russian TD. A tank that is currently under test. These videos have made it clear that this tank is totally broken, overly OP, and with this, many of those who have seen these videos are left thinking that some super duper OP TD is about to lift the game. Well, I hate to burst your bubble. Look, this video isn't about dumping on other YouTubers. This is a video urging caution and trying to tell you not to believe everything that you hear. Now look, almost all the YouTubers releasing leak videos haven't actually tested the tanks as such. They may have been lucky at enough to roll out in one during the open testing, maybe. But for the most part, they haven't actually driven out in the tank that they're releasing a video on. I know this because I am a tester and I only received the Object 268-4 yesterday. And we testers have very strict rules, such as we're not actually allowed to talk about the tank. Knowing that, the chances of those YouTubers releasing videos on this tank are therefore not part of the test program and as such have not therefore rolled out in the tank. So why do you need to be aware? Well, in simple terms, a test tank almost entirely won't be the tank you will get in the game. The whole point of testing is to see if the tank requires balancing, be that a nerf or be it a buff. In most cases, the test tanks require a nerf. So when a leak video hits talking about OP tanks and such, it is based upon the tank in the test stage, a tank that is yet to be balanced. I'm gonna give you an example of two tanks, the tier 10 Yo and the tier eight Turtle. Now when the Yo was under test, the two shot gun was an absolute beast. I played like 11 games in a row and got 11 aces in a row. Not because I'm some sort of super duper unicorn, but because the reload time on the two shot was totally broken. All the testers made the same point and we all said that the reload time needed to be increased because dishing out just under 1,000 damage alpha in less than 10 seconds was like batshit crazy. Even more so when the three shot was a lot slower and it actually made the three shot almost unplayable. The test yo is not the yo you now have in the game. In fact, it's a totally different tank. The two shot was, murfed, was nerfed massively and now the tank, while still staying very, very strong, is not as OP as it was when it was in the test. Let's have a look at the Turtle, a tank that almost every YouTuber, aside from Meadzy and myself, claims to be the worst tank ever. Again, under test, this thing was like a demon. The armor was fantastic, the gun was fantastic, and bloody hell, it was mobile. Again, this was something that all the testers pointed out. It was just too darn strong and needed to be adjusted, i.e. nerfed. And nerfed it was, and that's what you now get in the game. This is the thing about test tanks. They are not what you think. Because most YouTubers aren't testing or actually driving these tanks, they rely upon conjecture by comparing the tank to what is in the game World of Tanks PC. Doing this is incredibly erroneous because World of Tanks Blitz isn't a copy paste of World of Tanks PC. If it was a copy-paste, then there'd be no reason to test. Not only that, but both platforms are not the same. For one, the maps are bigger, and that changes a few parameters of the tanks. 
Think about view range. Now, it's easy to draw the comparison because what's good for one may be good for the other. But that's simply not true. The basic premise may be lifted from World of Tanks BC, but the tanks in Blitz do not share the same characteristics as their big brother counterparts in Watt PC. Looking the same doesn't necessarily make you the same. So be careful when you see these leaked videos of super OP tanks, because it is based on an unfinished vehicle, with many references to its bigger Watt PC brother. Like I said, it's great knowing in advance what may be hitting the game, but the Object 268-4 has only now hit the test stage and is therefore likely not to be hitting the game for any time soon. Which is more than enough time to change the parameters, either up or down. Who knows? Anyway, I've been fooded. That has been my word of caution when you're looking at these leak videos. It's beautiful to know what's coming into the game, but I see a lot of comments saying this will break the game, this is so OP, this is broken, this is this, this is that. And it's just not true, guys, because you're basing something on something that is yet to be refined. Anyway, comment in everything below, uh, because I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun, being happy.